Here at Prescott, once a year, we always invite uh, the um, Formula Student Guys, which is an international competition for universities around the world. And we've got a number of universities in, in this country. And so representative is the University of Western England. And this is Jamie? Yes. Jamie, you're the boss man, is that right? I wish I was, yeah. Uh, no, I'm currently our um, new head of aerodynamics um, right. in the team. So uh, my role mostly involves uh, doing all the computational fluid dynamics um, on the car and then building all of the, mostly our carbon fiber parts for our entire aero package. Okay. And here's, here's Liv. Her mother calls her Olivia <laughs> when she's not behaving herself. Olivia, what's your job in the team? I'm the head of business this year and I've been involved with the powertrain in previous years. So is it your job to, to raise the money? Well, a little bit, but also to try and do the business presentation. So they have a Dragon's Den style presentation to try and get students used to having to present to investors. Right. And then we have all the social media that we run, trying to get the sponsorship, trying to get the prospectus out. Yeah, yeah that's mostly what I do. Is there a limit to the amount of money university can spend on this project? Yes. So some universities fund the team's better than others, uh, but if you can't get your own capital and you can't get manufacturers to give you components, yeah. you're going to really struggle to get a car running. So are you getting much cooperation from British manufacturers? Yeah, fair yeah, fair relatively. Um, we've got a few of our sponsors, um, especially like uh, Life Racing um, and Easy Composites as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they help us with a lot of our kind of parts in terms of mm -hmm. uh, some of our electronics and our composite materials. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of kind of some of those big manufacturers currently, yeah. um, it's very, very uh, difficult. But yeah. in terms of the gain in our performance recently, especially of coming second at um, the university competition this year, we hope to kind of gain um, a larger kind of sponsorship. Right. Yeah. Um, and third member of the gang is the ace driver. Am I, am I right? Uh, somewhat, somewhat ace, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was, I was very fortunate to be able to drive this car in competition this year. We also competed in Formula Shoot in Italy, amongst right. some of the phenomenally good talented teams there. Uh, managed to do 0-6 in about three seconds, so that's pretty quick for a car that we built. Um, it's is this a new car? Yes, so we, we build a new car every year. Right. There are some carryover components such as like brakes, steering rack, uh, engine particularly. We previously had a plenum, intake plenum, 3D printed uh, in metal by Haita. Right. That's one of the previous sort of big... Yeah. Are there lots of restrictive rules? Uh, yes, so we follow, follow a full rule book. Uh, depending on kind of what country you race at, there's a slightly different rule book. Yeah. Um, but for the FSUK, there are some restrictions, um, kind of the engine size. Uh, there's also a restrictor uh, uh, to limit the airflow into the engine. Um, you also follow all the aerodynamic rules in kind of terms of the height, width, length of the aerodynamic components. And then there's some smaller rules. There's things like um, currently for FSUK, you can't run fan cars. And um, by that, I mean some teams, they will run a fan underneath uh, the car, which essentially sucks the car down onto the floor. Um, so currently for FSUK, that's not allowed. But for Germany, for example, it's allowed. Is the whole team studying engineering at uni? Uh, uh, we're a mix. We have a couple of students that do product design right. um, and they very much help with a lot of our kind of ancillaries components, a lot of driver systems, things like the uh, steering wheel, um, kind of some of the electronics in terms of displays and whatnot, and that kind of helps to create ergonomics within the team. Unlike a lot of other teams, we're a society as well, so we have people from all different walks of studies, so we even have a history student, a product design student, mechanical, aero, automotive. Architecture. Anyone that can do CAD is useful. Uh, and do you choose the team members or do they come and choose you? So because we're a society, anyone can sign up. Right. They just have to pay the joining fee and sign up. But you really get out what you put in. Okay. So my grandson, who's studying media studies at UW, he can come along and help, help you with media. He should yeah. join my team. He all should right. come and um, do all the business and media with us. I'll <laughs> tell him to come. Have a great weekend. Thanks very much. Thanks very Thank much. you. Nice talking to you.